If you've been contemplating upgrading to DaVinci Resolve Studio, but you're not sure if the $295 price tag is worth it, then keep watching this video because I'm about to show you five features of DaVinci Resolve Studio that make it completely worth the price. Now, granted, there are a lot of technical upgrades that you get with DaVinci Resolve Studio, like the ability to work in 3D space, use multiple GPUs, and export in a lot of different resolutions. But let's be honest, that's kind of the boring stuff. And I wanna talk about the fun stuff, like IntelliTrack, which is this amazing new tracker in DaVinci Resolve 19 that you can use to not only stabilize footage and add effects, but also to track movement for the purpose of panning audio which is amazing. Oh, and by the way, IntelliTrack isn't just a fusion page tracker. It can be used in the edit, cut, and color pages too, which is always a huge plus. Moving on, let's talk about Magic Mask, which was introduced in DaVinci Resolve 18 and is still one of my favorite tools. The concept is fairly simple. Just draw on the object or person that you want to mask and DaVinci Resolve will automatically create a mask for that person or object. You can then track that mask and use it to add effects, separate color grades, or even masked text to your videos. Now, just like IntelliTrack, Magic Mask is powered by DaVinci Resolve's Neural Engine, which is what Blackmagic Design has named the AI that is responsible for running a lot of the effects and tools in DaVinci Resolve Studio. Just like this next feature, which... Um, Jay? Yes. I thought maybe now would be a good time to talk about the sponsor of today's video. What, now? Well, we are about 50% of the way through the video and studies do show. <sighs> you know what? Fine. This video is sponsored by Artlist. Now you've heard me talk at length about Artlist's awesome stock footage and music and sound effects. And you've heard me talk about Artlist Max, which gives you access to a whole bunch of other stuff like plugins and templates and even a full blown NLE. Well, now Artlist is taking things up a notch with their new AI powered text to voice. And in case you were wondering, yes, the voice you heard at the beginning of the segment was generated by Artlist's text to speech, obviously. This is honestly one of the most realistic text to voice features I've ever heard. It's good enough to do voiceovers, ads, and even scripts for faceless YouTube videos. They have a ton of different voices to choose from and it's really easy to use. Just type in what you want the voice to say, select your voice, and click generate. Once it's done processing, you'll get something like this. If you're looking for amazing stock footage, music, sound effects, AI text to voice, or whatever else you need to complete your next video, click the link in the description and check out Artlist today. Or this. If you sign up using that link, you'll not only be getting two free months on top of your annual subscription, you'll also be helping out the channel. It's a win-win. Or even this. Oh, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Pretty please. Thanks so much to Artlist for sponsoring this video and for continuing to support creators like me. And now- And now that we've told you about today's wonderful sponsor, let's get on with our next DaVinci Resolve Studio feature, shall we? What he said. So as I was saying earlier, the Neural Engine is responsible for powering a lot of really cool tools in DaVinci Resolve Studio, including the next one on our list, the Depth Map. The Depth Map is another tool that is very helpful in both the color and fusion pages. It creates a map of the depth of an image, which can be used to create luma mats, which can be used just like the Magic Mask to place effects, color grades, and text in specific parts of an image. Next on our list is a color grading tool that's brand new to DaVinci Resolve 19, the Film Look Creator, which just like the name suggests, gives digital footage the look of film. The Film Look Creator is super easy to use too. Just apply it to a node and you'll have full control over settings like exposure, contrast, grain, halation, gate weave, and even things like split tone and bleach bypass. I've actually been using the Film Look Creator to create the basis for my color grades ever since DaVinci Resolve 19. 19 beta launched. Next up is a tool called Relight, which is another super cool color grading tool that literally relights your videos. And we're not talking about simply bringing up the exposure inside of a power window. This is actually like really, really cool. What Relight tool does is it creates a super detailed depth map of your image and then creates realistic and adjustable lighting 
for your scene using the depth map to determine where the shadows would fall, where the light would be blocked, and where it would be the brightest. I actually used the relight tool to create a realistic fake sunrise in DaVinci Resolve. You can check that video out right here. And until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.